Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. I'm trying a new software, and we're going to see how this one works. Do you see what's on my front? What do you call this thing? Your window, your front window, home page? Okay, whatever. The, the name of it escapes me, but that doesn't matter. I don't know if you're seeing me or not. This is called um, N NCH Software. Okay, so anyway, this is the Bride of Christ running into the arms of Jesus. Y'all, are you part of the 144,000 that's fixing to go outside of time? Yeah, we're going to get our glorified bodies. We're going to come back and we're going to help those left behind to continue to not take you know what so they can be up with Jesus also. And don't forget, we're going to be doing great exploits. Yes, that's right. Jesus said, greater things than these shall you do. We're going to be healing, feeding multitudes like Jesus did. Greater than walking on water. So use your imagination, you know. Who knows what all we'll be doing. But anyway, it's coming soon. Keep your eye on La Palma and even closer on the Lord. My goodness, so much is happening. It seems like the calm before the storm, doesn't it? Did you know that four years ago, on October 7th, this is a video I wanted to share, but my OBS got all messed up. I said, I can't share this now. My videos aren't turning out. I don't know what to do. All right, in this video, I gotta find it and link it for you. It should be in my history. This man is pointing out I want to say it's Mark Allison, 88. Not sure. I'll look. I'll find it. He's pointing out that four years ago, when Trump lined up a bunch of people and said that while they were smiling and all the cameras were clicking, he said, this is the calm before the storm. And they were going, what storm, Mr. President? What storm? You see, a lot of what's fixing to happen... God is allowing because it's time. It's time to bring a culmination to the end of the church age. People think, oh, it's not the end of the church age. Well, I don't know how they do math, but um, God created the world in six days and on the seventh day rested. We've been on the earth 6,000 years and Jesus will rule and reign uh, during the millennial reign. For a thousand years. That's the seventh day. Do you get it? What year is it? 2021. From Adam to Jesus was 4,000 years approximately. Give or take a few. From the time of... See, if you go with Jesus' birth, which was 3 B.C., Literally. But then there's no zero year. Okay? So if you sit down to figure it out, even though it was called 3 BC, since there was no year, there was like no time. I don't even know how to describe it. There was no zero BC. Okay? It had to go from 3 to 1 to 1 AD. You get that? The Romans set that up. Pope Gregory. That's why it's called the Gregorian calendar. And then there's the Enoch calendar. There's the Creator's calendar. The Hebcal. Hebcal. What are you going by over in Israel now? Well, going by the, I believe it's the Enoch calendar or Creator's calendar. That might be the same thing. Tabernacles is, I believe he pointed it out. Whenever the full moon is this month, I think it's the 19th into the 20th, it's the first day of Tabernacles. And we were looking at it for last month because of the Hebrew, Hebcal calendar. Because we don't know what calendar God's going to use, has in mind, was going to use, right? When, when Trump said that four years ago, it was the first day of tabernacles. It was a full moon. It was October 7th. See, because they go 
by the moons in Jubilee, in the book of Jubilees, it says they were told to go by the sun. But I don't really get that because the sun doesn't really have, I guess this is the rising and the setting, the rising and the setting, you would count seasons. Every day is a minute shorter or a minute longer, so I'm not real sure how that would work. Anyway, this is a test video. I wanted just to make it short, share that with you, that we're looking up, we're looking into tabernacles, because that's when Jesus went up on the mount to transfigure, got his glorified body right in front of Peter, James, and John. And Peter said, Lord, it is fitting that we would make, should make booths for you and Moses and Elijah. Moses and Elijah joined him. Remember, that was during tabernacles. How do we know? When else did they set up tabernacles, booths, temporary shelters? Think about it. It was a huge clue. Okay, with that, I'm going to say bye for now. I'll talk to you later. Now I have to hit Control F10. Okay. Now I got to do this. Menu. File. Is it still recording? It looks like it's still recording. Okay, so let's try it again. Control. Control F.